Yeah, man. Well, uh, yeah, let's just open uh, on that point. Um, let's talk a little bit about the relationship with money, man. Like, um, I, one of the things I find that is so difficult for beginning artists is deciding where to funnel what little money they do have and what is the best investment uh, from, from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of artists, they are working at the regular nine to five or even in, a lot in school. And uh, yeah, let me, let me get just sort of brand man's, you know, overview on uh, the relationship with money and, and your journey with that as well. Okay. Um, one, right. You have to spend it. Like, there, <laughs> like, let's just be honest about it. I know a lot of people feel like there's like scams out there and things of that nature, but there's also the proper ways to spend it as well. And the things that need to be spent. So when I think about money, let's just start with an artist. One, if you're indie, you're by yourself indie, especially, and don't have an infrastructure, your money should be spent to build information to, to then build an infrastructure. So what do I mean by that? Uh, particularly in marketing, you don't necessarily know, right, who's going to like you or what's going to work. You have to be able to spend money on education. Think about it as college. When people say school of hard knocks or they learn through experience, well, you're spending money on experience, whether that's trying a certain service, service doesn't work out, dang. Next service, service does work out. All right, bet, I'm gonna double down on here. So my whole relationship is a combination of experimental from knowledge and just literally spending actual money and then doubling down on the things that work. I keep it that simple at the, at the, at the baseline. Now, when we can get into specific um, budgets and things of that nature, I, I, I got so many artists ask me, what number should I start off with? Because a lot of people know $150,000 is, well, at least especially if you've seen like my interviews with like Wendy Day or just a lot of people in the industry, that's a number that people use to say, this is where you can get, this is a number that you need if you want to monetize your music. Understand that there's differences and there's nuances when these people are speaking. One, mm -hmm. when people say monetize your music, right? They're referring to like 150K, that's getting your music to awareness Right. And then all the way to the point where you're doing tours and, and, and things like that on the back end. Right? Of course, mm -hmm. monetizing on Spotify and all that stuff. But the real monetization comes from the tours and the merch and things of that nature. And tours cost money up front. When people are on these late night TV shows and things like that, you actually are paying to travel. You're paying for your van. All that stuff costs money up front. That's why that number is bigger. And they're thinking about breaking on a more national scale or at least an upper regional scale. Now, when we just talk about an artist that's just trying to get something popping online, right? There, there's some better numbers when we can get into the 10Ks, the 20Ks and things like that. But if you're just starting off, you need probably $500, right? And with that $500, that's enough to start running some Facebook ca campaigns and learn about your, uh, your audience, learn what's working and what's not. That's one of the first steps I feel like most people should take just to give them a taste of it. You shouldn't expect to have great results in terms of, oh, now I can monetize and now I'm viral. That's the biggest problem that people mess up or why people feel scams or have a bad taste in a lot of cases. You have expectations that people aren't managing. They're selling you a dream. Sometimes people are actually doing what they're supposed to do with what they get from you, but they sell you a dream to get it. So it's still wrong. They, get, they sold you something that you shouldn't be expecting from the specific service. You can run in your own Facebook ads, though. You can reach out to some of these influencers if you have the time. But I, I, and that's the, the last thing I'll just say for money, because we can get specific if necessary, mm -hmm. more specific than that. You are always trading money or time, right? Like, and that's it. Those are your two resources that you're going to be spending, like, uh, pretty much everything on, right? If, one, I got... I don't have the money. Well, I need to spend this time to create some connections, right? Create some like crazy campaigns that can be viral and guerrilla and reach out to people individually. I need to spend that time, but no, I'm, I don't have that time. I'm, I'm busy. I have like a day job and I maybe have a kid or two. Then I need to figure out how to spend money. Well, maybe I don't have money and I don't have time. Well, you're going to likely figure out how to make more money because as much as people make it not, seem like it's not there's pretty much money in every single situation that you see blow up and if it happens to blow up virally in a short period of time 
there might there might be some organic viral nature to it. However, for it to be capitalized and for people to win, then they always have to get attached to money for it to sustain and even for them to make their money back. Because if you blow up, if you blow up today, you want to, you get a million, two million followers tomorrow. What are you going to do? Do you have connections to, to booking and touring? Right. Do you have any connections to some of these other places that are going to give you other types of visibility, building out PR? No, you don't. Well, then you probably have to figure out how to spend money on that. And next thing you know, your window has, has died. That's why people blow up quickly. And then if they do happen to capitalize on it, they have to sign a deal. They have no leverage because they know hey, you got a window and you don't have a legit core fan base. So you've blown up. That's cool. And we're going to help you cap off of this, but we're going to get the biggest cap of the cap. So um, that's, that's how I, I think about like money in general. My mind just can roll on days and days on that, but I want to, I'll stop right there. So for you to guide it wherever you need to. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, um, like, yeah, a lot of, a lot of great stuff there. I think um, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.